I don't grasp the idea of doing the same exact thing with alcohol or putting a needle in your arm or sitting down and watching pornography, going gambling. Addictive behaviors give you that feeling that you get when you're trying to make yourself feel better by eating too much food. Welcome to Jay's Way. Please hit like and subscribe and comment below. I do try to respond to as many comments as I can. I want to talk today about free agency and your own personal will. I've got two quotes that I want to share with you, and I hope that they can attest to the point I'm trying to make. This first one is from President Russell M. Nelson. Addiction surrenders later freedom to choose. Through chemical means, one can literally become disconnected from his or her own will. Another quote that I have is from Boyd K. Packer. Addiction has the capacity to disconnect the human will and nullify moral agency. It can rob one of the power to decide. That's what I want to highlight today, is that acting out in your addiction is not an, a, a full-blown decision that you made on your own. There are influencing factors that lead you down that path and cause you to do something that is against who you really are. When you act out in your addiction, you're doing something you don't want to do. You're doing something that is against your moral values, your character, and the person that you truly are would not do that. So understanding this concept gives you the power to recognize when that's happening to you. What leads you down that path? What is it? And, and it's, it could be a variety of things, of course. Um, emotions and the inability to handle them is probably my biggest point that I would like to make. There's more to it, but that's the biggest one, in my opinion. Most people can recognize and understand when I tell you that when you're depressed, you might feel better for a while if you start shoveling ice cream down your mouth and just eating a lot of treats and sweets. And, you know, there's a lot of jokes about that out there. But they don't grasp the idea of doing the same exact thing with alcohol or putting a needle in your arm or sitting down and watching pornography, going gambling. Addictive behaviors give you that feeling that you get when you're trying to make yourself feel better by eating too much food. You know you shouldn't be eating all of that food, but you're doing it. How do you overcome something that you're not even truly doing on your own? You have to recognize why you are doing it. What is causing you to go down that path? What's bringing you to that stage where you eventually come to a point where you do do something you don't want to do? Past trauma. Uh, the inability to handle your emotions. Um, depression. Anxiety. Uh, mental disease. There's so many different reasons that can lead somebody to an addictive behavior. So find that reason. Find what's causing it for you as an individual and then seek out all the help and support that you need to overcome it. You have to acknowledge the problem, find it, acknowledge it, and find the solution. And then find a way out of that loop that can lead you into progression and progress as you overcome the trials in your life and learn to battle those things that lead you into your addictive behavior. Peace, love, and joy. That's what you get for progressing and striving to become better. That's the Lord's way, and that's Jay's way.